what makes this oven so nice is not only does it get up to 900 degrees, but the stone is rotating inside. So a lot of the finesse with pizza comes with turning it and figuring out when and how to cook it evenly. You don't even have to do any of that with this one. It leaves no room for error, pretty much. Ooh. This is really the best part is just watching it. You can immediately see the oven doing what it's supposed to do. Yeah. This is our new form of family entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only thing I've watched in a while that I haven't wanted to change the channel. <laughs> is it bad that I want this to be the screensaver of my phone now? <gasps> Ooh. That looks beautiful, brother. I am super impressed as to how fast that cooked. I mean, that yeah, just... Maybe a minute. And I so mean, this thing holds the heat. So right now, if you had several pizzas in a row, you yeah, could throw another one in there and just keep pumping it out. You don't need the magic of television for the sun. <clears throat> yeah, I want the big piece. Just keep that. I going. want the whole thing. I know. It's beautiful. It's... And it's so good. Yeah, it's nice and chewy. There's some char on the bottom. Gives it a nice crunch. The fat from the cheese, sweetness from the basil, and the acidity from the tomatoes just makes it nice and balanced. Mm, and I love the puffiness of the crust. Mm -hmm. it makes for the perfect bite. Come on. So a couple years ago, I made a tomato pie. And that tomato pie ended up on the cover of a very big magazine. So I said, all right, well, why don't we just do a tomato pie pizza? I've got some seasoned up and drained down tomatoes. And then I have these caramelized onions. Now they're caramelized with tamarind. They're a little sweet, a little spicy. So, we're gonna see how this goes. That looks so good. It's a thick pizza. I'm surprised it cooked all the way through. That crust that looks phenomenal. Good. I can certainly see why this adorned a magazine cover. Yeah, look at that color. Ooh, that smell that. Mmm. Mmm. You know it's really good when the whole sec goes quiet. <laughs> That's an amazing pizza. So, I'm in the hot seat now. It's your turn. Which is a great lead-in because we're cooking with real wood this time, which it, is in my wheelhouse. There's, I mean, there's a whole new situation here. The design of the oven, I love it, is just pushing all that fire from the real wood across the top here. And if you take a look at the top of the chimney, that's the smoke that you want. This little thin, blue, wispy smoke is the smoke you get the best flavor clean, from. Clean smoke. Both of your last two pizzas were just gorgeous, so I really felt that I had to step it up. I'm gonna slice some beef. We're gonna put it on that pie. We're gonna get it cooked off in the 90 seconds, and bam, we'll have a killer steakhouse pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the final pie of the day. Nice. Topped it off with arugula, so you get a little bit of that spicy bit of green on there. It's gonna be the contrast with the sweet of the balsamic glaze, and then the really super fattiness of the Wagyu beef. So let's give this a try. Look at that, look at that crust. Mm. Really, really good. I'm gonna be driving back tonight thinking about all the different things I could do with this pizza oven. Oh yeah, it opens up so many possibilities. My wife is going to be so proud. <laughs> I didn't